Hi everyone, The Mature Simmer here. Welcome to this quick how-to on RailRoute and how to build and buy. So one of the key things you're going to need to do as you continue to play RailRoute is you're going to want to typically expand your rail network and do more things. The way that you do that is with the build and the buy menu. The build menu lets you focus on tracks and automation around that and the buy menu lets you purchase the stations and connection points on the map. So let's start with build. So here you'll have connections as you unlock system upgrades you're able to go ahead and get faster and faster track and you're also able to get things like tunnels and coach yards. The information on these will be covered in other tutorials. Down here in controls you'll be able to get signals and sensors. So at this point I've got track selected and I can go ahead and do my high speed track, I can go ahead and do my load speed track, it really doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to go ahead and extend the line from Straga over to the east. You'll see I have a yellow square which is my selection point and then I have blue points around it which indicate where I'll likely be able to go based on what I'm doing. So I'm going to start at the station node and then you can see it basically lets me go in a straight line to this location here if I'd like. Because I've selected the station node it does force that. If I select here you can see I have other options. I can go in all the directions that I'm capable to go. You cannot go past these dotted lines. Those are walls that confine you into a given space. So if I'm going straight across it's easy. I can click here and here and go ahead and build that and you can see that cost me 15,000 in, in uh, building costs. If you go ahead and bulldoze I can do the same selection and you'll see I get all 16,000 of that back. I misread that um, before it was 16,000 not 15. But you might be asking the question well what if I don't want to go here what if I want to go to one of these other points. If you start on the node you'll just go here and then you're able to continue say go here and then you know continue to build out your network as you want. Refunded that build out. You can also go here and build this and then come back here and connect that way. The effects the same you've still got the same route so you can build any way you'd like. When you have multiple track speeds and connections you're able to change the track speed so you can highlight an area and you can see that it's going to basically cost me 6,000 to change that. If you want to increase track speed left click. If you want to lower the track speed you right click. Again the wonderful thing with RailRoute is you get the full amount back. There is no penalty for building inappropriately and then destroying it like there are in other building games. So you can go ahead and try things and then if you have a network that you don't like you can just destroy it, get all your money back and try again. Signals are placed the same way. They have to be on track and you need to do it as it says plain straight track needed. So I can't put it at a junction and there are other areas you'll see that I can't put it at as well. If you place the signal you can then click again to reverse it. So this is how you determine which way you're facing. Again you right click it removes it or you can go ahead and bulldoze and finally you can place a signal you don't have a change signal type but if you go ahead and put an auto over it you can see it cost me 8,000 the difference. If I right click and refund I get the full 10,000 back. So again we started with 30,150. We end with that. So on buy you can see I can buy additional platforms or I can buy these connecting points that cover a longer distance in short segments. Each of the dashes is supposed to be 10 kilometers. So you can see this one takes a little bit longer to get through. It's 30 where this one is 20. So they're connection points between various locations. And you can see depending on what they are. So these are 4,000 for a single, 8,000, 12,000. And then the platforms right now are 3,000. These prices do change as you go further and further into a level. The one thing to note, once you purchase a platform, there is no way to sell it back. So you cannot reverse a purchase from the buy menu. 
So that should give you the basics you need for build and buy, and I will see you next time.